Hi, this is Matt with WPI, and I'm here for another WPI technique. Uh, today, we're going to talk about one of um, the most popular systems for microinjection uh, really throughout the world. It's been a long time uh, bestseller of, of WPI and a favorite amongst our microinjection customers throughout the world, and that is the UMP3 pump, and that's the Ultra Micro Pump. Um, first of all, um, we're going to talk about the versatility of this pump, and that's the, kind of the main goal of this video. Um, you know, it's, it's, it covers such a broad spectrum of application from intracellular injection in vitro fertilization, um, you know, introducing biochemical dyes and other agents into your sample. Um, and what, how I'm going to demonstrate that is I'm going to actually run through a couple of common setups uh, for the pump on a stereotaxic frame and then also on a micro manipulator. First, let's take a moment to run down all the components of the complete system. When you unpack your UMP3, you should have the following. The UMP3 Ultra Micro Pump, the Micro 4 4 Channel Controller, one 12 volt power supply, one power cable, one Phillips screwdriver, an Allen key, and finally an instruction manual. To set up the pump, plug the UMP3 cable into an output socket on the back of the Micro 4 controller. An important note, up to four pumps may be connected and independently controlled via one Micro 4 controller. Next, plug the 12 volt power supply into the rear panel of the Micro 4. The switchable power supply included with the controller automatically senses input line voltage between 100 and 240 volts and converts it to 12 volt. Plug it into an electrical outlet. An optional foot switch may be plugged into the RS-232 port on the rear panel of the Micro 4 controller. And finally, switch the Micro 4 on using the power switch on the rear of the controller and verify that the LCD is illuminated. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some common setups and ways to mount the pump. First, what we'd like to do is demonstrate the pump being mounted to a, a stereotaxic frame. The V-clamp, pictured here, will allow you to connect and mount the pump on most common stereotaxic frames on the market today. Next, we show the UMP3 mounted on a NWPI's M3301 micro manipulator. And finally, we have uh, the micro manipulator mounted on a tilting base with the UMP3 uh, again mounted on the micro manipulator. Well, we certainly hope that uh, you found this video informative and helpful on the, on the Ultra Micro Pump. Again, the goal here was just to demonstrate the versatility of the pump and uh, kind of make you see you know, how you're going to get the best bang for your buck uh, if you do decide to make the purchase. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact your sales representatives here at WPI.